The Atlanta Falcons have drafted Montana State linebacker Troy Anderson. And if you've never heard this guy's story, it is just straight up incredible. This guy has basically played linebacker for a year and a half or two years. Before that, he was an award-winning quarterback. And before that, he was an award-winning running back. All at Montana State. Montana State brought him onto the roster and said, hey, because of issues that happened on the roster very early on before the season, they asked him to play running back. And I think it was like maybe the next year they had asked him to play quarterback. And he did. And he was phenomenal. I, oh, I won't say phenomenal. He was not NFL caliber at both those jobs. But he was, for that conference, phenomenal for that level of competition. And now, so he's still kind of learning, developing as a linebacker. There's going to be some natural mistakes he's going to make. Like I said, still learning the position, still learning the proper angles, still learning how to take on some blocks. I think taking on a box will be a problem for him immediately in the NFL. That's not that's going to be an issue forever. He just has to learn how to do it. And his technique all around just needs some sharpening. That said, 6'3 and a half, 243 pounds this past year, 147 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, two sacks, two interceptions, seven passes defense, and a one fumble recovery. And he has elite, I mean elite, next level movement skills, just insanely fluid athletically, sideline to sideline range. Dude will be a monster in coverage as soon as he learns a little bit more. And even right now, I mean, looking at what he did at the Senior Bowl, the guy was sticky in coverage. He's really good already at that, and he's going to get even better. Uh, he's got really good downhill trigger as well. So once he learns to take on blocks a little bit better and kind of understands his technique a little bit more, I think this guy, of the linebackers in this class, I think he's got a higher ceiling than Quay Walker. I think he might have a higher ceiling than Chad Muma. I think he might have a higher ceiling than Kobe Dean. You know, he is, in terms of ceiling, He's closer to Devin Lloyd than people probably want to admit. 